We got eight nominations, including Best Picture and Best Script and Best Director and four actors in the photography. Well, yeah, I was surprised. I had no idea. I mean, people ask you now when, you know, when it became a big success and so on, people ask, did you expect it to be? And, well, I obviously expected something, as I told two actors they were going to win the Oscars, but whether I really believed that or not, or whether I was just saying it to convince the actors that it was a good part, I, 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 I honestly can't tell you the truth, what I really thought. What's going on on my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys. And continuing on in my series of Peter Bogdanovich reviews, in today's video, I'll be taking a look at the 1971 documentary directed by John Ford. Directed by John Ford was released in 1971, and this is the first of three documentaries that McDonovich directed throughout the course of his extensive career. And this was a very awesome movie that he made because it focuses on the life and career and legacy of John Ford. If you're not aware of who John Ford is, John Ford was one of the best filmmakers in the classic Hollywood Golden Age era of Hollywood. He was best known for predominantly directing westerns, many of which starred John Wayne. He directed such films like Stagecoach and The Searchers and The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. And he also directed dramas along the way as well. Movies like The Grapes of Wrath and How Green Was My Valley, just to name a few. So he has a pretty lengthy career. He's directed movies as far back as the silent era. And even in the movie, it said he directed like 135 movies, which is quite an insane accomplishment. Like... How many directors nowadays can you say has made 135 movies? But John Ford did it from as f early back as like 1917 or whatever when he made his first movie all the way up to like the 1970s. So he made a ton of movies throughout the course of his life. And Peter Bogdanovich decided to direct this documentary highlighting and celebrating the legacy of this incredible director who is very influential to many directors that, you know, make movies today. They owe a great gratitude to John Ford because he was one of the first directors that really pioneered the art of cinema and how to make really remarkable directed movies with incredible filmmaking and cinematography along with it. So a great deal of directors today owe a great gratitude to John Ford in a lot of ways. And this was a very awesome documentary. It's narrated by Orson Welles, who had gone on record saying that John Ford was his favorite filmmaker ever. So it's awesome that Orson Welles got to narrate this piece. Directed by John Ford. These words have appeared on over 135 movies. Among them, some of the most popular and memorable ever made. It's also a phrase that's been properly honored. John Ford is the only director ever to win six Oscars and four New York Film Critics Awards. There's a lot of interviews from various actors who worked with John Ford over the years. People like Jimmy Stewart, Henry Fonda, John Wayne, who all shared some pretty entertaining stories about their experiences with John Ford on set. Because John Ford was a little rough around the edges. Like, who... He's known to like pulling pranks and doing other stuff and sometimes he can be a bit standoffish and a bit rude, but the actors had great respect for him at the same time because he knew how to make a good movie and they loved coming back and working with him even at the end of the day and uh, it was fun hearing some of these crazy stories that they shared. Uh, talking about working with John Ford. And John Ford was even interviewed as well. Peter Bogdanovich did get to interview John Ford at Monument Valley, which was one of John Ford's favorite shooting locations. He shot so many westerns at Monument Valley. And John Ford had some pretty funny things to say as well. Who knew how actually funny of a guy he was? Because he had some funny answers to some of the questions that Peter Bogdanovich asked him, and uh, it's worth watching just for that alone. Take one, more, more, more than one take, will I? Shoot. Mr. Ford, you made a picture called Three Bad Men, which was a large-scale western, and you had a quite elaborate land rush in it. Mm-hmm. How did you shoot that? With a camera. 
I will say um, there's actually two versions of directed by John Ford. There's the original that came out in 1971, but the more widely accessible version, and this is a version you can find on YouTube, and that's how I watched the movie. Uh, there's a reworked version that Bogdanovich did in 2006, which was released by Turner Classic Movies. And I think that's the more widely accessible version of the movie today. Apparently, Bogdanovich was dissatisfied with the original cut of the movie. And so, years later, he decided to rework the movie, conduct some more interviews from contemporary filmmakers, where in this new version, the version I watch, you know, Steven Spielberg and Martin Scorsese and Clint Eastwood were actually interviewed and they shared some of their love and appreciation for John Ford as a director. In fact, Spielberg actually had a pretty awesome story that he actually met John Ford as a teenager and John Ford kind of dismissed the young Spielberg for not paying attention to the horizon in the pictures and that was a lesson that Spielberg learned along the way and it was, that was a funny story. And I'm wondering what John Ford would have thought seeing the Spielberg movies if he was still alive today. I wonder what he'd think of Spielberg now. <laughs> but uh, it, it was interesting seeing some of these newly integrated footage. Uh, I know they added some other stuff. There were some newly added interviews from other actors much older that worked with John Ford, predominantly Harry Carey Jr., who starred in a bunch of westerns with John Wayne. They added interviews with Maureen O'Hara in this, and uh, there was another interesting thing that was added was a final conversation that happened in 1973, which was the year John Ford died. Uh, there was a hidden recording that uh, John Ford's son recorded of the conversation between John Ford and Katherine Hepburn, and Katherine Hepburn was one of the many loves of John Ford's life. So that was an interesting like private conversation between the two that very fascinating to see unfold, especially on the historical side of John Ford and his legacy and his career. Very fascinating stuff. Uh, I will say it is a bit jarring seeing the old interviews and the newer interviews together in the same movie as it's very jarring as Letterbox only states that this film came out in 1971. So to see the new interviews that was made in 2006 mixed with the old is a bit jarring to see. However, I do like the new footage that was added at the same time. It's cool seeing Spielberg and Scorsese share their thoughts on John Ford and why they love and respect the director so much. So it's no big loss. I still enjoyed the version that I watched. There's still some really cool stuff in it, and regardless, I guess, of which version of Directed by John Ford you watch, it's still an awesome documentary either way. You learn a lot about John Ford as a person, his upbringing, and how that translated into the movies that he made. I love how the movie establishes that, uh, the, the documentary establishes that, that John Ford didn't really have the best childhood, and he wanted an ideal family, and so when he started making movies, he always had to create ideal families to where you can root for and sympathize with and resonate with because that's what he'd never had in his real life and he wanted to present that incredibly beautifully in the movies that he made. And that's something I never even knew and I thought that was a really fascinating facet about John Ford as a person and I love seeing that explored in his movies and I love like the historical context that he brings into his movies as uh, it was stated that John Ford was probably the most American, American director there is because all of his movies dealt with history of the past and John Ford brought his own stamp into the history and bringing uh, well-rounded characters in these events throughout American history and uh, there's some really interesting things that John Ford brought as a director and more inter I'm definitely interested in diving into John Ford's filmography eventually on my channel because he is a fantastic director. And this is a really good documentary that definitely is a deep dive into John Ford as a person and how awesome of a filmmaker that he was. Definitely one of the best classic directors out there. I think probably one of the top tier classic Hollywood directors between him and Alfred Hitchcock in my opinion. And... This is a fascinating, excellently crafted documentary. Definitely worth checking out if you're a film fan. I highly recommend this movie, and I'll be rating directed by John Ford a four and a half out of five stars. 
and on the 100 point scale it's getting an 85 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of Directed by John Ford as part of my Peter Bogdanovich director project where I'm going through his complete filmography from his directing debut to his last film. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're a fan of Bogdanovich I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check out my Peter Bogdanovich director playlist where you can check out all the previous reviews I've covered on the channel so far. I'm just getting started in his filmography. I previously reviewed movies like Targets and a very infamous film he somewhat directed called Voyage to the Planet of Prehistoric Women. I'm definitely diving into the peak years of McDonovich as a director, so be on the lookout for more videos coming your way from this remarkable director. And join me next time in this director project where I'll be reviewing the movie that put Peter Bogdanovich on the map. The other release from 1971, a movie called The Last Picture Show, a movie I've never seen before, and I'm excited to check it out for the first time. So be on the lookout for my review of The Last Picture Show coming to the channel real soon. But if you've seen, directed by John Ford, let me know down in the comments below. Would you follow this documentary? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video besides movie reviews, I'll also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!